Hey everyone, if you're new around here, my name is Heather Steele and I am a photographer and explorer. So if you're new to my channel, I like to take you guys to strange and interesting places. And today we are back at Washington Cemetery. So if you did not see my cemetery crawl video, feel free to watch that one as well. So I wanted to come back to Washington Cemetery today because in my last video, I did not have much time to really film this place. And I wanted to make an episode where we go around and I just read off some of the gravestones to you. There are some really interesting and beautiful graves here. And I thought it would be fun to share them with you guys and of course it's really nice to read off someone's name because I feel like you kind of speak them back into existence so just to pay my respects to the souls here I thought I should go around and document who's here and visit them for a little while so if you enjoy cemeteries which I hope you do keep on watching this video Maria Morgan Watson, born July 13th, 1814, died March 5th, 1909. It's so nice to see her again. I've really missed her. She's been covered up for many months. So I finally get to come back uh, and do a photo shoot of her. The real reason I returned to Washington Cemetery today was to share with you all this gravestone, which I think is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. This is so unique. This is actually a boulder that was placed for this man's wife. I'm going to read it to you now so we can breathe a little bit of life back into this old love story. Eleanor Moray. Born August 17, 1868, died January 19, 1923. Wife of Robert Rattol Reed. This stone, carried by the Great Continental Glacier from her homeland, Canada, to the place of her death, Ichita, New York, has been brought here by love and grief to mark the place of her burial. I just always thought this one was beautiful absolutely beautiful and I'm really glad that I got to document this love story because I think this is relationship goals right here also it's very interesting that she died on my birthday which I get a little bit superstitious about but I think in this case it was worth documenting for you guys Hugh Wilson Harding 1835 to 1906 the pure in heart shall see God Entering into this life, October 27, 1884, Rachel L. Harding, widow of Richard W. Harding, aged 76 years, she loved much. Sacred to the memory of Richard W. Harding, died March 20, 1864, aged 68 years. This one I could hardly read, but I wanted to try. This is K.W. Wilson and he was born February 22nd, 1812, and died in 1861. This is Sarah Wilson, and this is the grave of Bertie Wilson, who was born February 18th, 1873, and she died at age 25. I wish I had gotten a better clip of that because there's quite a bit more writing on her gravestone. Here we have Neville Craig Wilson, born October 30th, 1850, died January 1st, 1887. Lida Lord Reed died December 29th, 1885, and Richard Stockton Reed, her infant son. I thank my God for every remembrance of you. Louisa Rutherford Lord Reed died April 2nd, 1894. I thank my God for every remembrance of you. So I had to take a little break in the car because it is crazy cold and windy and they're mowing and there's sirens going off. There's just so much going on out there. 
Well, it's too loud and too cold out there to wander around much longer, but I was very curious if just on being on the grounds, if we could pick up anything on the SB7 Spirit Box. So some of you might be concerned on why I would want to do paranormal things in a cemetery. Um, but for me, I feel like there are souls here still wandering around who want to be heard. And I'm very curious if any of the spirits here are upset that they're uh, gravestones are knocked over. So I like to give the spirits a voice, um, which is why we're going to be doing uh, the spirit box session on the SB7. And it's going to be really interesting if someone like comes over and says, hey, move your car. And I'm like talking to dead people. Anyway, <laughs> so this is going to be very loud. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you hear anything. Would any of the souls here at rest in Washington Cemetery like to speak to us today? Is there anyone here with me at the moment? If you're here with me right now, what is your name? I heard something there. Did you say your name was Davy? Are you at rest? Are you at peace? I think I heard no. Did you fight in the Civil War? Gosh, did you just hear them say Gettysburg? I have chills all over. Did you hear that? Is there a Gettysburg soldier here with us right now? Are you the gentleman that I did the video on last time? What was his name? I can't remember. Did you die in the Battle of Gettysburg? were you when you died? Do you know that you're dead? Did I hear can't leave? Are you a man or a woman? I hear a woman. Are there any children here that would like to play? I'll play with you. I'll keep you company. Are you a boy or a girl? My name is Heather, and I'll be back to talk with you all again. You can talk to me anytime. Thank you for talking to me today. Well, my fellow explorers, that is where I'm going to be ending this video. I did film some more, but I am currently processing everything that we captured in this spirit box session. So first of all, let's talk about David Acheson. 
So he was the Gettysburg soldier that I featured in my last video. And on the spot like that, I get nervous and I forget facts. I had completely forgotten his name. So I was absolutely shocked whenever we captured Dave so many times. And then my memory was jarred and I realized, oh, that was him. I always felt a special connection to Washington Cemetery, but I really wasn't expecting to capture everything that we captured today. So it kind of makes me feel good to know that if there are spirits there, at least they're comfortable with me being there. I have so many questions about that cemetery and other local cemeteries, and I'm going to be doing more videos with the spirit box. So if you would like more spirit box videos, let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know if you enjoyed the gravestone readings because I will be doing more of those. I ended up doing this spirit box thing on a whim, didn't expect to catch anything, thought this video would be all readings. So <laughs> this has been quite the surprising experience. Thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you on your own journey into questioning what's out there and what makes us human. If you're not already, please follow me on my Instagram for photos of places like this and updates on new videos. So until next time, stay positive and don't forget to stay weird. I'll see you later. Bye.